that very much. No, but really it's usually what's happening upriver, more okay, over the Ohio news. Valley to affect the mm -hmm. river impact, the Mississippi. North Shore rivers, though, are under flood watches mm -hmm. because of the ongoing threat, the rains that we saw on Monday, and more to come in the coming days. But for the next several hours, we're going to be inundated with some heavy rainfall. We've already seen those heavy downpours around the Baton Rouge area and kind of almost two distinct areas, although I think shortly this uh, larger line will kind of overtake this smaller one and they will merge, but we'll kind of time those out in just a moment. Tornado watch in effect for the area until 3 a.m. as we watch these cells or, or these uh, lines and individual cells kind of within the line of uh, heavy, uh, strong winds where we might get some rotation embedded. Really, that threat has been most common in this Boeing part that has already passed through the Lafayette. I have a cousin, Emily, that lives in Lafayette. She's been talking to me, says things are finally settling down, but they have already been uh, 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 kind of cleaning up from the storms on Monday and we will likely have to do that again from the storms that have just passed on through. And again, we've got more to come, but kind of timing these out at the moment. We've got this one band that this is really only going to affect the North Shore. It's this second band that's going to impact all of us throughout the overnight period. So looking at this one, it's been moving at about 40 miles an hour. It's actually been picking up forward speed, which is great. Let's move this in and out, get it done with around the a meet area by about uh, 1030 or so. So a little before 1030. Hammond at about 1043. And again, these uh, times are not precise. This is a rough estimate. Folsom just before 11. Around that same time, maybe a little bit later, Bogalusa about 1130. Mandeville and then pushing farther into Mississippi before midnight. Now, this larger line is moving at about 50 plus miles an hour. And again, we should see this moving into the metro area before midnight around the Homa area just after 11. And again, the um, Shriver, or Shriver and Homa area probably around the same time time and that will continue on toward the Mississippi coast. This is the end that you really want to watch that leading edge. You get the intense rainfall, but the strongest of the winds and the heaviest rain are right along that edge. We'll continue with our threat for severe weather during the overnight period, but really once that leading edge is passed, the threat for severe weather diminishes. Now we will see another threat during the day tomorrow that mainly comes in during the afternoon and evening and then likely some more early on Saturday. Still that ongoing threat for which you don't see very often a high risk of flooding rain over western Louisiana that does taper off as that continues to push into southeastern Louisiana. So not as great of a risk of flooding, although we will again see a higher risk. That's a moderate level three out of four for flooding rains tomorrow on the North Shore. These are areas that have already been saturated Monday more tonight and if any additional rainfall could lead to more of a flooding concern north of the lake into Mississippi and Alabama. Right now outside, the winds have been picking up Looks like our data is missing at the moment. Winds, though, have been pretty brisk as those storms have been moving in. And then obviously within the storms themselves, you're finding winds gusting 40, 50 miles an hour. This is all in conjunction with a couple of upper level features, and this is a pattern which will continue into early on Saturday. In fact, as one complex of storms is moving on, additional storms are already developing over West Texas. These will be clearing out probably about 2, 3 a.m. at the very latest in Mississippi. Then we will get a pretty big break during the start of the day on Friday. Here come the additional showers late in the afternoon evening. Doesn't look like these will be as potent as the storms that have been moving through tonight, but we will get kind of round two and then possibly round three into the early morning hours of Saturday. So unfortunately, even once these storms are done for the night, we're not done with the severe threat as that will be ongoing again tomorrow and Saturday, but neither day does it look to be an all day rain event. And in fact, by Saturday night, Sunday drying out, but then the heat returns and then we're talking heat indices around 100. All right, Chris, thank you so much.